In this tutorial, I would like to show you how we can change the product identifier we are monitoring from. Let me explain what I mean. If, for example, I have a listing that is out of stock, but I found a different supplier that AutoDS works with to change it from. So this listing is currently monitored uh, from Amazon and is out of stock. I would like to change it because I found that Walmart sells the same exact item and I would like to change it to this specific item. How do I do that? If we are talking about the same item and we don't need to change the entire listing, the description or anything else, just the item, uh, just the location from which it is monitored, all we need to do is go to the active listings page, find our listing, click edit, go down here and we want to change the source item ID and the source product site. So I go to, to Walmart and I check and I take this ID. Okay, this is the ID, it's in the URL in Walmart. I paste it here and then I choose my source site, which is Walmart, and I save the changes. Now Okay, basically you will get um, you will get uh, an okay message. Uh, this account is a test account, so this listing was probably removed by eBay. But you will get an okay message that it will succeed, and you'll see that this item will now be monitored by by Walmart instead of Amazon. This is what you will do when you want to change only the the the. Uh, as seen or product identifier that is being monitored and we're talking about the same item, okay? Because you're not changing anything in the listing itself. Remember, you're not changing images, you're not changing description, anything. All you do is you change the source item ID and the source product site so that AutoDS will monitor it from a different site where there is stock, for example. Uh, Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. In the next tutorial, I'll explain how we completely change, replace uh, a listing. Thank you for watching. See you in the next ones.